Whoa, so guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we'll be talking about uh, we'll be talking about a new new library. No, it's not a library. Is it a bundler? We'll be talking about a new product. And the new product, as you probably know, if you are a follower of Ionic and their uh, products, they really came out with an alternative to Cordova called Capacitor, right? They announced it a few weeks back, and they said that uh, they launch it soon. And uh, day before yesterday, if it, uh, by the time this video is being recorded, it was day before yesterday, uh, they came out with the uh, alpha version of the capacitor uh, thing and I decided to test it out. Give it, you know, I decided to give it a look and uh, check how it functions with our Ionic apps as compared with uh, Cordova. My first impression was that it's still in its infancy stages and uh, you know it's still in the development process I guess. Anyway let's get into the video and uh, give it a look and then talk about our impressions. The first thing I'll do is I'll start a project Ionic start uh, capacitor uh, blank. Okay I'll just give n so that I don't want any Cordova integration right. Okay, this is done. So the next thing I'll do is I'll simply CD into this uh, capacitor. And then hey, they, get, they said to run build once so that uh, the www folder gets created. So I'll simply run npm run build once. Okay, let me get the capacitor installed as well. And uh, the official notice was that we should remove this uh, Cordova uh, plugin for splash screen since it's conflicting with the uh, capacitor so I'll just go ahead and uh, remove this as well. That's it guys the next thing is to initialize the app with capacitor so that it knows that it's going to run with the capacitor so npx uh, init capacitor and uh, app id some com dot raja dot app okay let me run this too many arguments. Okay, and this is in this. It took this as a command. Npx cap uh, in it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, project as you can see, the project is ready to go, and uh, they are just telling me to add a couple of uh, platforms for mobile devices. But let me just try to run this in the web first, and then see uh, what happens. Npm build once again. And then simply do a uh, okay. Now we'll do a npx cap copy since we need to move all these files to yeah, it copied. Now we'll just run npx cap. So wow, it runs fine, cool, right? Uh, you have to oh, that that is uh, this is running entirely without this uh, help of Cordova, guys. No, you might ask me, Cordova is needed only for running, bundling and running the device in a mobile. Why are you talking about it uh, while running it in a browser, right? Yeah, you are absolutely right. Uh, anyway, we haven't, I mean, this is the first time I'm using uh, an Ionic app that completely devoid of Cordova. So I am a little, you know, happy about this. Uh, anyway, let's try some plugins that they have given uh, along with this and see if we could get any of them to work in a browser usually plugins whenever we want to test them we just touch test them on a device right let's check whether they run on a browser since they marketed this entire capacitor platform as a, a tool that you could use to bundle your apps to run across all platforms that is desktop using electron and uh, web, server, web uh, platform and uh, as a web app and a mobile app and as a mobile app so let's see if any of the let's try out any of the plugins and see if those work fine here as well get into app.module.ts and then import capacitor here that's it. Now simply get into pages home.ts and then uh, no, we need to add it in index.html as well. Cordova.js is there, right? Instead of that, we need to, we are not using Cordova. So capacitor.js. Okay. And uh, the next thing we need to do is get into uh, 
capacitor.config.json change this to true okay and uh, the next thing you need to do is get into home.ts we'll try any one of the plugin okay from at capacitor slash plugins sorry not plugins this is core okay and inside the guy will have something called the location location we'll do a geolocation plugin we'll try out the geolocation plugin latitude longitude mm -hmm. plugin dot dot geo plugins dot geo location dot uh, get current position dot then position geolocation plugin is nothing new you have already seen that in uh, when we use ionic native plugins along with our cordova framework right let's try this out and see if this runs on a browser now so uh, this dot latitude equals position dot chords dot latitude this dot longitude equals position dot chords dot longitude and I will get here uh, my location I will probably probably blur the chords okay and here I will simply give uh, latitude longi okay now we shall see let's uh, uh, rerun this and see how this fares so as usual to rerun npm run build once and then we'll simply do npx cap copy to copy all these to the web directory and uh, npx caps so wow it asks for my permission i will just click on allow let's see what happened wow it works perfect the geolocation works perfectly inside a browser guys hmm this is really cool so yeah capacitor this, this is how you use capacitor to uh, run your ionic applications guys instead of using the cordova platform so my first impression would be mm, this is great it's as i said before it's still in the infancy stage and uh, there's a lot of development to be done here but uh, uh, as they marketed this if you i mean uh, i'm not saying the cordova platform was not great it, it's really cool and then uh, i was a big fan of the cordova platform and the ionic framework as you can see most of the videos in this channel are based on these two right but uh, if an alternative comes out uh, and if it if they make it more simple with simpler commands for example i'm i have to install a separate uh, capacitor cli for this and then uh, use separate commands copy the entire code from here inside the directory and use separate commands to uh, build and run the app right instead of doing that if they try to integrate the all those commands from uh, the capacitor inside ionically itself like they did with the cordova platform uh, maybe this could be a effective replacement for Cordova. Still, I think the Cordova platform was really cool. This is cool as well, but as I said, it's still in the development stage. Let's see uh, when it comes to beta. Let's see how this looks. So, yeah, guys, try, try it out. Try everything. There are a lot of, uh, not a lot of, there are a few, few other plugins that you could try it out. Uh, uh, try out and, uh, yeah, try it out and drop a comment below. Hit uh, like if you like this video. If you found this helpful, kindly share it with someone and help them too. And uh, subscribe to my channel to watch more cool Ionic stuff. I got something big for you guys coming. Uh, I got something big coming for you guys. It will probably be released on the first week of March. That is this week. So stay tuned. Stay subscribed for the surprise. Thanks guys. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.